quickly. Um, we will move to what is the issue today in the Niger Delta, the environment. When we talk about the environment, um, we also mean the flood that is going on right now. Some, in some places, thank God, it is, um, it is receding. Um, in some places, it has not. Very quickly, um, in, in 20, 2012, that was the first time I saw the, uh, the flood. Um, on the 1st of October, when the, the Environmental Committee of the National Assembly, as headed by uh, Senator Bukola Saraki at that time, he was a senator under uh, the leadership, the presidency of uh, David Mack. And Jonathan was the president. And um, I led a protest in Abuja to highlight uh, the, uh, the issue of um, the devastation of the environment. And uh, the, the National Assembly promised that they will visit the Niger Delta. And the date they choose to visit the Niger Delta was the 1st of October. And the team, a few members of the Environmental Committee from the National Assembly came into River State and they were hosted by uh, the River State governor um, at, that, at that time. And we drove to um, Engeni, we drove to the entrance of Engeni um, towards Joint Krama, uh, myself, Alagwa, um, Reverend Nimo, they, they then commissioned for environment in River State and uh, cameramen and media people. When we got to that point, we saw flood and it had already reached the level of the tire level of everybody's car. I was in a, uh, in a hillock and so it had reached the, the tire level the highest point of the tire of, um, uh, of the hillocks. Now, the, it was horrifying at that time in 2012. That's eight years from now. And subsequently, um, with that, those areas in River State, in Ahuda East, Ahuda West, Epeye, so many other places um, that are affected or become that are affected by the flood anytime the flood comes. But sometimes it's, it's better than others, where if you can never say that flood is better, and sometimes it is worse than others. And also um, in Bayelsa State as well. Um, my NGO went as far as Delta State, Bayelsa State, and um, River State. I con we concentrated more on River State but we were able to reach out and help um, a few communities that we could help. We can't help everybody, assist everybody. But in River State, in, um, in, in the Obricom area, we had uh, an, uh, a displaced the people's uh, camp um, and everything we could provide, light, food, uh, medical care, uh, so many things that we were able to do very small at least we were able to do it. We were not assisted by, uh, by government. Only one individual um, assisted um, from, uh, from Bayelsa State, not from River State. And, um, and then um, uh, they uh, uh, went into Delta State as well. So I personally uh, have worked in these areas with the environmental uh, devastation that comes with the natural disaster of flooding is a natural disaster. But being a natural disaster, we have a government. We have a federal government, we have a local government, and we have state government. Now, if we know that our people are exposed and vulnerable to flooding in these areas, and for eight years, we've not been able to learn from even the flood of 2012 so that we are able to, one, prepare the government 
should be able to be prepared to help the people in their local government, the people, the people in their community. And these communities and these local government areas have representatives at the state uh, at the state um, level, that is the at the uh, state uh, lawmakers, we have local government chairman. So the local government chairman is the first point of call. He should be able or she should be able to alert the uh, the representatives, the senators and the law and the house of um, uh, rep members that cover those areas. And then the state government. Now, at federal level, we have NEMA. We have the Ministry of Environment. We have the Ecological Fund. NEMA is funded from the resources, from the money that is coming from the resources of the Niger Delta. Therefore, there should be no reason, no excuse, no law that can be in place that will mean that flooding in the Niger Delta is not, um, a, is not a disaster that NEMA should be involved in the way that NEMA is involved in when flood happens in other places in the north. Uh, we're calling this program uh, the uh, the, uh, the issue, the truth of the issue. These are the issues, and the things I'm highlighting are the truth of what our people are suffering. If you are watching and you're seeing your screen, you can see what I'm talking, what I'm talking about. Now, um, I'm going to bring in uh, uh, Dr. Charles uh, Oyibo from uh, Bayelsa State. Um, I'm also hopefully going to bring in this Meshach uh, comment. I'm also going to bring in Meshach. I was going to bring in um, one young lady, um, Miss Bethlehem, but she's not able to come on. But some of the uh, photographs, still photographs, and the video that we show later is uh, provided provided uh, by her. Now, they are going to be able to tell us by question what is happening uh, in their state. So um, I don't know if uh, Dr. Charles can, uh, can hear us. Can you hear me, Dr. Charles? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Can you unmute yourself, sir? If you can't hear me, please don't answer. Hello, sir. Dr. Charles, are you on? I can see him. Okay, let's go to Misha. Grants of this thing. Huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, okay, madam. Can hear I can hear you. Yeah, so yeah. Can you hear me? It was better earlier on, but uh, I guess now the voice is uh, breaking in intermittently. Hello, sir. Yeah. Is he yeah, I can hear you. Yes, please. Yes, I can hear you now. It's better now. It's a dog that is talking. Okay, um, please hold on, sir. Please hold on, sir. The voice is breaking. The voice is breaking. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Can I answer him if I can hear him? It's all right. I can hear you very well, clearly, ma'am.
हेलो सर हेलो मम्मी नो नॉट यू डॉक्टर यू यस आई कैन हियर हिम एज वेल आई कैंट हियर हिम ओके डॉक यू मे नीड टू रिस्पॉन्ड he can't respond i have not even asked the question i can't hear him let me mute my 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 mic for a while and see if he can come okay um let's go to let's go to mishak all right uh mishak you um first of all you are an environmentalist and um and an activist as well and um you are aware of what um what our people have endured um in this I, I hear you I hear you clearly what uh doc will come back to you so mishak i want you to give uh, to quickly give us a a two minute narrative of the history of this particular flood of this year and uh, give us the identity of the location that you um, that you are referring us to okay um thanks for having me uh, my name is mishak like uh, mommy has introduced us and uh, want to use this opportunity to thank her, the the mother of dragons um, she's one voice that um that has actually uh, demanded for and actually has been there for the Niger Delta people especially in this in times like this um my name is Mishak like she has said Mishak Uyi I'm from Ahoda West um from a pair speaking part of the Ahoda West in the Rashi region uh, my community is also by the banks of Rashi River um this flood in 20 this 20 2020 flood um as is well known now was yeah uh, well predicted that it will happen it will come um but that's not the issue anyway now the flood came as though as predicted uh, early october in fact before uh, before before october the flood was already ravaging farmlands um but it made the news that it has it made the news uh, when it affected um residents in orashi by the orashi river and um and that was early october um and so from that early october till now the flood has been with us when i mean been with us not just in the farmlands but also uh in our homes um not just been with us the flood has also chased us out uh, like as some persons like you've shown in the in the video clips and the, the pictures now um I I wouldn't want to I wouldn't like I might may not have the time to um reel out all the damages and enumerate them but let me try to mention some of the communities um the in Ahuda West specifically the flood yeah, that affected in Orashi region community. yes yes in in Orashi region the flood Orashi region is made made up basically majorly of four commit four local governments which include Abu Bai Bay Mandoni Ahoda West Abu Aldwa and Ahoda East of the three local governments Ahoda Ahoda Abu Aldwa I mean Abu Bai Bay Mandoni is the receptive local government the local government that receives the head water that receives water from the river Niger Orashi river is a tributary to river Niger when river Niger overflows it empties into Orashi river through Indoni Ndoni Creek in through Ndoni and Ndoni is in Obai Bay Mandoni so when it enters into Ndoni it flows through or uh, Ahoda West and then empties down to Abu Aldwa and then when it overflows too much when the Orashi overflows itself so much it enters into it empties into Sombrairo and New Calabar Sombrairo now takes the water to Ahoda East you understand and so that is why how it affects the four local governments of orashi and by impact when you talk about orashi uh, impact ahoda west which happens to be take half uh, majority uh, that occupies major expanse of orashi river is the most affected local government and in orashi and ahoda and ahoda west so that is ahoda west what i'm talking about in ahoda west there are two three major ethnic uh groupings 
in Nahoda West. We have the Obogolo, which is the least. Obogolo has about three communities. And we have the Ngene, and we have the Ekbeye communities along the Orashi bank of Orashi. And the Obogolo, all the Obogolo communities of the three Obogolo communities are by the bank of Orashi River. And the, Sorry, let me... Yes. Yes, ma'am. No, go on. Okay. All the three communities of Obogolo... No, I was going to ask that you that so quickly. How do you... So you're saying that four local government areas of yes. as many communities are affected? Yes. Okay, yes. fine. So of, now, of, of, um, of, 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 when yes. we're talking about this, we're talking about we, we, when we're saying this, we're now talking about the people are homeless, their, their yes. farms are destroyed, and yes. their most houses, from my experience in 2012, their houses not collapsed just, into the water. Literally, not just mud houses. And, yes. and their, their farms were destroyed. And so they were yes. homeless and they were homeless, yes. basically. So that is yes. what we're driving at. Now, let me quickly ask the question before we go to uh, Doc to, uh, to give us an overview of Bielsa. Now, at, as at the point when this flood have come in and uh, people are suffering like this, what has the local government done? What has the state government done? And what, what is the role of NEMA in your involvement um, in these uh, activities and also coming from the, uh, from the area? The, the local government, the representatives, and the, uh, the uh, NEMA, what have they done to ease the, uh, the, uh, the suffering of our people? And then we'll take it from there. Well, the none of the authorities or bodies, none of the none of the authorities or bodies you've mentioned um, has done anything in response, visibly done anything in response. None of the authorities, not the local government, not none from the from the state, none from the agency NEMA, and none from multinationals that are in the area none from churches or NGOs, none from anybody. Um, but let me say that um, uh, none that I know, but they may have done something which we don't know by way of uh, okay. uh, writing, calling for attention uh, on their own, but no tangible help, no physical help, no physical yeah. intervention. Okay. has actually has been seen okay. or has gotten okay. to the people. And I want to also talk about the magnitude of the effect. Like I, I was saying, all the three okay. Obogolo, Obogolo community clan, Obogolo are underwater. The entire... Uh, 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 wait, uh, Michel, wait, wait, wait. Michel, we will come back and ask that question. Let me go to Doc to give us an, uh, an overview. Uh, hello, Doc. Hello, Dr. Ivo. Oh, God. Hello. Mommy, I think somebody could, should send, that, send him a chat. Can he, can he do a chat? Oh, let, him, let him do a chat. Yes, please. Okay. Can, yeah, good morning. I can, I can see yeah, I can him. hear you. Good morning. I can see him. Um, but, and good morning. He's not... Hello? Okay, sir. Good. Hello, good morning. Good no, morning. You can go on. Go, go on, I can hear you. Why is it difficult? Why is it? I can't, you can't hear me. But, Doc, I can hear you. Hello, sir. 
Can, can you can you hear me? I can hear you now. So talk. We don't need, we, we can hear you now. We don't, maybe because you unmuted yeah. yourself. Yes, because you unmuted yourself. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, can I I can hear you? Good morning. Hello, sir. Yes. Hello. He can hear you now, ma. Can you hear me now? Good morning, sir. Can you please tell us? Um, yes, sir. Well, unfortunately, uh, he left the house. He went outside and he's having network uh, issues. Maybe we should do a phone call um, with him instead. Uh, but let me and tell him we'll call, uh, we will reach him over the phone. Um, okay, Mishat, now um, I think that we, we actually appreciate the, uh, the magnitude of, um, of, of what has happened um, to, uh, to, the, uh, to the communities and to the, uh, uh, to the people. They are suffering. We, I think we are aware of it from the videos and, and all of that. Now, I want you to, even Mishak is gone offline. Hello, I'm Mishak. Off, I'm on. Yes, ma, I'm on. Hello. Yes, I'm on, ma. Hello. Well, I um, stop telling me to continue. I'm talking. Um, we're having network issues from the uh, from our contributors, both from Bayelsa and even from Mishak now, that, that is in uh, Port Harcourt. We can't. Um, we can't. Um, yes, but I'm back. To, uh, to I'm back now. I'm get to talk to him. So. Let us hope that. Let us hope that we um, can uh, no. we can get them back. Um, let, 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 Um, hello. Yes, I'm not hearing Meshach and I'm not hearing. Um, Mommy, uh, I can hear you. Dr. Yubo. Mommy, I can but hear you. It's just network, and really, it's just a shame because um, I really wanted them to uh, to contribute from their uh, position. Hello, sir. Yes, ma, I can hear you. Mishak. Can you, can you hear me, ma? Mishak. And it's raining as well. So that is not, uh, that has actually compounded uh, everything. Both their screens are blank. Mishak. Mommy, I can hear you. I think maybe they can, uh, they can come out and go back in. Maybe they should. Who can hear me? Can you, I can hear you, well, ma. I can't hear him. So it, it's of no good to me if, Misha can hear me and I cannot hear him. I cannot ask him questions. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that uh, I will just go with um, I will just go with my intervention. My intervention here is that the reality for us as a region the reality for us as people 
in this state of the Niger Delta that are devastated by the are devastated by the flood that seems to come every year. And it means that it comes worse in some years and not so bad in some years. Now, if this becomes a regular occurrence, like it is, and it is predicted as this year's and last year's was predicted, the fault that we have is that organized themselves. And this is not about um, party politics. It is not about who you support and who you don't support. It is about what government should be ready to do. And actually, we all saw what happened outside this country in a civilized and developed country. Now, um, we, I want to believe that we're civilized, but I know that we are not developed. We're not developed because our government system is not the right system. It is not functioning properly on behalf of the people. It is not serving the people. Now, the reasons for that is partly our fault, you and I, the electorate, is partly our fault and also the fault of the people that has government that they want to serve us. Now, 